Hello friends, today I'm going to show you where to download Apache Tomcat server from, how to install it and how to configure its username and the password. So to download Apache Tomcat server, you have to visit its official website that is tomcat.apache.org. At the left side corner beneath the downloader, you can see different versions of Tomcat are available here. The latest one is Tomcat 8.0, so click on this link and just scroll down here below the core we have a link 32 bit slash 64 bit windows service installer click on this link to download this setup for windows i have already downloaded this setup so i'll install it click on the run next i agree next here we see http port that is 8080 by default and in tomcat administrator login which is optional it is not mandatory to set if you want to set you can set if you want to skip you can skip i'll set username as a user password as a password for manager gui role click on the next next install if you skip that username and uh, password setting you can set it later on and if you set it now and if you want to change later on you can change that also let's run apache server you have to type localhost colon 8080 Here we have a manager app button. Hit this one. It asks for the username. We'll try user as we set username and password as a password. So here we have successfully login. We don't see any web application loaded here as we do not have any web application in web apps folder of Tomcat installation directory. So now we'll see where it sets its username and the password. In drive C, program files, Apache Software Foundation Tomcat 8.0, here we see a folder named conf, that is configuration. Go to that folder. In that, tomcat users.xml file. Double click this, open this file. Here, you see user tag, and that user tag's property is username and password as we set username as a user password as a password for manager gui during installation so if you want to change we can change this here if we haven't set username and password during installation you might have a file like this one and if you want to set username and the password first time just scroll down at the bottom you see this user tag just copy and paste outside this comment tag this is comment tag just copy this one and paste outside this user comment tag and set username whatever you want as I set username as a user while installing I'll set it as an admin and my password was password I'll change it to my password and role manager hyphen QA do not change this role so here we have new username that is admin and new password that is my password for manager UI role close this save now I'll copy my first servlet program already written and compiled and paste it in web apps folder so we can see this web application when we use manager UI now we have changed the username and passwords for that 
we have to restart the server. If you make any changes in servlet, you have to recompile it and just reload that web application. You don't have to restart the server each time. But if you make any changes in web.xml file, you will have to restart the server. Click on the manager app. We'll try to use previous username and password. That was user and password was password. Let's see whether it permits me login or not. It doesn't permit me to login. We'll use new username that is admin and password as a my password. Here we have successfully login and you can see my first view application that is first servlet and next to that you can see we have four button that is start to start the web application stop to stop the web application and reload to reload the web application never click on this undeploy because it will delete the all web application which are present in web apps folder of the tomcat installation directory so never click on this undeploy if you make any changes in servlet you just have to recompile it and click on this reload button which are which is in front of that web application so the changes will get reflected you don't have to restart the server each and every time but if you make any changes in web.xml file then you have to restart the server because when you start the server an object is created servlet context object for each web application and when you start the server that time container loads the web applications web.xml files whether you run that servlet or not so the web.xml file of all web application are already loaded so if you make any changes in web.xml file you will have to restart the server thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe for more videos